this is the audio trimming interface which should have everything you need to be able to manipulate your uh, your audio uh, you can preview you can start by previewing uh, the, the song uh, in this example by tapping the play or pause it another way to play the song is just by tapping on the blue uh, playhead at this level where the dot is so if I tap on it it starts playing just pause it if you can also scrub through the song quickly you know, by moving it by moving the, the playhead okay. I'll, just, I'll just quickly pause that and uh, um, you can see these handlers, the left handler and the right handler. These uh, what sets the start point and the end point. So you can also um, change them uh, with your finger. Now notice when you select a handler, it turns red. Red is to denote that it's the, the handler being uh, selected right now. So if I click on the R, you can see that it gets selected in red. Now go back to the left handler. As you change the left handler, notice the start point and the duration keep changing accordingly. Okay? Same thing with the uh, uh, right handler. Uh, another way to uh, uh, set uh, the, the start point for example is by playing the song and if the song gets to a point that I'm interested in I can just tap this button move L to playhead and it would move the handler to the position where the playhead was at the time when I tapped it on the button so I'll just try that so if I click it you see that it gets it moves the position where it was. I'll just forward a bit and let's do the same for the right and as you see it did exactly the same as well. Right, um, what else to say? Um, okay, the, the reset button would put everything back to the, the start uh, the start positions. Um, another way to also uh, set the in and out point is by inputting manual values. So if I tap, if you tap on the text itself, notice that you get a keyboard and the text gets selected. Yeah, I'll just do the same here. You see, it gets selected, ready for you to input a, a value. I'm just gonna come out of there. So the end point is at seven, uh, seven minutes and 34 seconds. But notice when I tap it, it changes to 454. 454 is basically uh, how many seconds are in 7 minutes and 34 uh, seconds. So if you want to input values, you would input them in seconds. So I'm just going to put an in, uh, and start point of 2 minutes. So 2 minutes would be 120 seconds. To get rid of the uh, keyboard, you tap anywhere else. Um, you can tap on a new duration that would get rid of it and as you can see it is set at two minutes if I want to set the end point at three minutes let's say so that's 180 seconds tap on a new duration and it is now set at three minutes okay you can also have uh, more control by sliding your finger uh, from the bottom up to bring this control. Now, in in this song of Rihanna, uh, let's say we want to set a ringtone. Okay, I'll just put back the handler to around, um, let's say, eighteen, seventeen, and the end point around uh, 34 I think something around like that okay and let's play okay 
let's approach control by fine-tuning this disposition of the endpoint for example so right now uh, the endpoint it's you know when they get really close sometimes you try and select it and it doesn't want to get selected so I'm trying to select the right one but the left one keeps getting selected now this issue can arise now to avoid all of that this control at the bottom allows you to have more control now to be able to uh, toggle your selection you can tap on the right and the right one gets selected on the left and the left one gets selected so you got these arrows as well which denote the right for selecting the right and the left arrow for selecting the left once you select for example the left arrow and you start sliding across now you are controlling how it is moving okay so I'll just put things back to zero quickly to demonstrate now I select the left handler and start moving now the problem is now let's say uh, it's moving really really slow this is like I said it's for fine tuning but you can change the uh, amount by which the handler moves so by using two fingers on the screen pinching you know like uh, you do to zoom uh, in on out of the of uh, an image so if I pinch down the smaller the amount the bigger the distance and as you can see now the distance gets bigger if I pop up the value 100 means it will increment by milliseconds by one milliseconds at a time as you can see now let's suppose you want to get you want to get to 40 and you want to be able to control around 40 so you can select and select out out of it so the amount that I wanted is 19.06 I think and then using this that's it I want to add 34, 34082. So uh, maybe it's too hard to select, so I'll just go even lower. Now that should be. Oh, sorry, uh, should I just go higher and now it should be easier. There you go, 34082. And if I play the song, now these values are played around with them, so I don't have to make you wait and uh, yeah that should uh, hopefully uh, help you fine tune your in and out points i think i've said everything uh, to cover the uh, handling of the audio uh, one more thing to add you've got this button here to get help if you tap it it will take you to this video on the on youtube uh, in case you need a, a, f a refresher or something is not very clear for you i hope you guys like this feature of odyssey Thank you for watching and bye for now.